Hello, this is intended to be the quick presentation of the co-op shell. Co-op stands for constraint applications uh, protocol and it appears to be the second most important uh, protocol in the IoT space after second after the MQ, MQTT protocol. Both have actually very different uh, uh, design and purpose. Uh, the constraint application protocol is designed to resemble very closely the HTTP protocol, in particularly the RESTful uh, architectural style. So you have the same methods, a little bit extended, but it is targeted for constrained uh, um, devices and constrained networks. So with no further ado, then let's start the shell that would allow us to connect to us to connect to server that support this protocol. The jar, the shell itself is Spring Boot application, self-executable jar that um, doesn't require any other dependency. Just bring the jar. If you have Java 8 environment, you can run it. Co-op. That's how we started. Use tab um, for auto completion or help for additional. For, 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 for this finding out what, what are the support commands. Obviously, we need to connect to a co-op uh, server. Fortunately for us, there are a couple of demo servers running out there. One of them is uh, the co-op uh, me server. Let's ping to verify. Okay, it is available. The first thing you can do is to discover what are the available resources. This is actually a, a part of the protocol itself to, to, to discover the well-known resources and this is the list of those resources. Next thing we may want to see is to check how the, the RESTful commands works. Get uh, hello. Okay, it is successful acknowledged message and the response is word. The, what other methods we can have? Yeah, put, uh, delete, post. Okay, let's see, get what are the resources, sync, okay, it is, uh, hello there, let's try to delete this content in the sync, um, the response is successful, um, get sync, indeed the content was deleted, Not, now let's uh, um, add new content there, put, put, sync, Payload, payload can be embedded or from file. In this case, it is uh, uh, high from co co op shell. Let's try to be original. You can also specify the format. This is the mine format. In this case, this is text plain text format, get sync, indeed the sync has been updated, uh, we saw also how we can perform uh, auto completion. Uh, now uh, this was the simple non-protected non-secured co-op protocol which is UDP underneath, let's see how we can connect to an endpoint co-op server that actually requires uh, secured or the DTLS uh, protected um, <coughs> encryption channel. So uh, fortunately for us, again, there is such a server. Connect, connect co -S, Eclipse Foundation, actually for part of the Eclipse Fornium project, provides such demo server. So now we are connected to the um, co-ops, which is the secured version and the secured protocol. Again, let's figure out what are the entry points provided by this server, co-op server, it takes some time. Okay, it was a little bit slow, yeah, a lot of services maybe this time, let's see the large, large, and because uh, this is uh, supposed to be large content, we can use actually one of the features, which is asynchronous response. In this case, the command automatically responds, there is a handler registered, and once the data is provided, it is sent back to us, and this is the long message. Um, now, another feature, which is part of the co-op protocol, is the observability, is part of the specification, which allows you to subscribe and listen for continuous updates of, 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 of events about certain resource on the server side. So, for this, let's again discover 
and find which resources provide uh, uh, observability uh, features. Okay, for this we can use the query mechanism in the discovery protocol, and you see that all those entry points actually provide uh, observ uh, actually observable entry points. Let's see. Okay, this is practically the timer. Let's now subscribe to this entry point. Okay, we are subscribed. Now we can observe show message and we have three messages already generated received and okay, we cannot create second time um, because we have already a running observer. Let's see the messages. So the message is just keep piling. We have to stop this observer if you want to start new observing uh, entry point. Okay, observe stop. Okay, the observing has stopped and there is no it's empty cases. Another interesting fix, let's see how we can uh, check from different uh, MIME formats. Uh, again, uh, get mode. Let's discuss, find out everything. And multiple accept. Let's see what is the default Res command. It's text plain. Format accept uh, application XML. Spell it. Yes, XML is supported indeed. What about JSON? No, the entry point doesn't support uh, JSON. It's only text uh, and uh, XML entry points. So, um, as a final result, you, you notice that the multi the tab can be very handy for auto completion. If you need additional information about all available commands, you can use the help command or help with certain command to get more details.